Jean. Have you lost something again? Well, I believe I have. The problem is I can't remember what. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure it'll come to me. Where are you off to? To return this book to Père Robert. It's about two lovers in Fair Verona. Sounds boring. No question. Please then. Can't you tell? If I can't talk any crowd, put a heads up on some crowd. Maybe my. I have loved Beauty and the Beast since I was about four years old. I know that I've seen it hundreds of times since, and now that I have kids of my own, probably thousands. I just thought it was the most beautiful and perfect movie. The question becomes, why remake something that's perfect? Part of it was this great opportunity to tell it in a live-action, fully photoreal version and distinguish Belle again 25 years later as a 21st century heroine. When you love something that much, you really want to do it justice. It was something that we all knew we had to live up to. Who's there? Come into the light. We have this extraordinary team who are legendary. They have given us the means that we needed to make it everything it could be. Hello. You can talk. It feels really good to be in this group of actors. It's an amazing cast. There's so many wonderful, iconic roles in this film. It was enormously exciting to see so many people concentrated on creating magic that will endure. Pleased to meet you. I've worked on films before where the craftsmanship has been amazing, but this has been unbelievable. Show me the girl. The music is pretty special. What if she is the one who will break the spell? These songs are very powerful. They arouse emotion, carry you along. Think of the one thing you've always wanted. There's something about this story and the score that draws everybody in. I find it in your mind's eye and feel it in your heart. It will remind you of all the beauty of the original. But also expand on it and give it more detail and more depth. This version of Beauty and the Beast will define a whole new generation in a wonderful way. Okay, animation fans, I've got some interesting Dithy movie facts. The reason Mickey Mouse was drawn with white gloves was because Walt Disney thought that normal mouse nails were much too violent for children to watch. Many cartoons and movie characters have since copied this trend. When the first Toy Story film was being written, Buzz Lightyear's original name was Luna Larry. And Pumba in the Lion King was the first character to fart in a Disney movie. What's your favourite Disney animated movie? Let me know in the comments below and keep up to date on all things animation by subscribing to our channel and clicking on the notification bell. I'll see you next time.